Hi, I'm Jack Dickinson, and I'm here with Michael Ratliff, our mass timber expert, and we're taking a look at one of our mass timber projects today. We are sitting in a uh, amazing 40,000 square foot uh, mass timber space. This is one of the first uh, projects this large in Texas with this uh, kind of construction method. Because it uh, can be prefabricated off-site, it goes very quickly uh, as a system, so it speeds up the overall construction times. It's also sustainable. We had about 28 loads of CLT panel and uh, eight loads of glue lamb. Uh, so all told, it was maybe five to 600 parts that, that we put together. And uh, it's really neat to, to see the results here. I think uh, walking around and talking with people, uh, they, they enjoy the space quite a bit since they've been in here. How did Timberline get involved in this project? The initial influence was from the architect, who's Gensler Dallas, and that's who the owner was working with. Timberline has been around since 1987, really, and uh, a lot of the original people are still with us. So we bring a, a, an expertise that's uh, unmatched. And, and even though it may not have been termed mass timber, we've been doing mass timber for a long time. We've built thousands of prefabricated structures uh, with CNC technology since the early 2000s. Uh, we now have two uh, large facilities, one in Nebraska and one in kind of the heart of Texas. And you know, I think as the contractors and the design team were looking for people uh, to, to build one of these, the first in this market, uh, we were a very good fit and they, they recognized our experience, our, uh, the fact that we've done it before, sort of de-risk it for them some. And, uh, and any, any issues that may have come up, we were able to problem solve because we've, we've dealt with it before, we've seen things like that. You mentioned de-risk, and that seems like a really important point. Can you explain how Timberline de-risks the mass timber portion of this project? Yeah, I think, um, especially in the commercial realm, a lot of uh, general contractors are not familiar with working with wood at this scale. You know, most of the time it's steel and concrete, and mass timber uh, is coming online as, a, as an alternate mm -hmm. to, to those systems. So uh, because of that unfamiliarity, uh, sometimes they, you know, maybe a little hesitant about uh, how, how it all goes together or, or the, really the process or what's, what's different from steel. We're talking about these things, CLTs, glue lambs, uh, I think we should maybe walk around and take a look at what you're talking about. You can show us exactly what you mean when you use those terms. On a glue lamb, uh, you're in essence taking dimensional kiln dried lumber mm -hmm. um, and then you're pressing it and bonding it together with construction adhesive to, to any size that is required for the loads for the project. So CLT is an engineered wood panel also made up of dimensional lumber. Um, in alternating directions. And then you can layer those up to any thickness. So three ply, five ply, uh, seven ply, even nine ply. In this case, uh, what we see behind us, the wall is a 40 foot tall shear wall that's attaching to the floor diaphragm and the roof diaphragm. Wow. So this is a completely independent wood structure. Uh, it's not relying on any concrete or steel uh, for lateral support. Thank you so much for your time showing us around this amazing project today. My pleasure.